Hey guys, it's Mallory, and yes, I do have a new hair color today. I got it done a couple of days ago, and I am very, very light now. But it is me. I am back to do a book haul for you guys today. So the first two books that I got were actually two for 25, and they are part of the Color Your Library books from Chapters. First one being The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon, which is about, I'm pretty sure, an autistic little boy who investigates a suspicious death of a dog in the neighborhood. And then In the Skin of a Lion by Michael Andache. I'm not too sure how to say that, but I got this one because it was set in Canada in the 1920s, and it sounds really interesting. I love these colors, the blue and the purple. They surround the whole book. And I can't wait to put these on my shelf. Uh, the next one that I got was my Wishlist Wednesday a couple of weeks ago, and it is The Secret History by Donna Tart. This is about a boy who goes to a college in New England, and he is this elite group of five uh, Greek scholars, and he finds out a secret that binds them all together. A terrible, dark secret. So this sounds really cool, and I'm hoping to get to this one this month. Atonement by E. McEwen, which I have never read, but I have watched the movie. And basically, it's set in World War II, and it is about a 13-year-old girl who witnesses her older sister having a fling with their servant boy, and kind of what happens because of that. Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro, and I have never read anything by Kazuo Ishiguro, but I have heard nothing, nothing but good things. Uh, again, I have watched this movie, haven't read this book, um, but it's about 31-year-old um, Kathy looking back at her life growing up in a private school with her two friends, Ruth, and I can't remember the boy's name, um, and basically the love triangle between these three who were born to live short lives. The next one is The 100-Year-Old Man Who Climbed Out His Window climbed out the window and disappeared and basically what the title says it's a hundred year old man he climbs out his window and he decides to go for a little bit of a journey the next one that I got is the Kraken wakes by John Wyndham this one is basically about something terrible an alien is about to show itself and it could cause global catastrophe or destruction so it sounds really awesome. The next one that I found was The Gravedigger's Daughter by Joyce Carol Oates. And this is about a family fleeing Nazi Germany in 1936. And their father was a former high school teacher. But when they move upstate New York, the only job he can find is a gravedigger. The next one that I found was The Shack by W.M. Paul Young. And this is about a man called Mackenzie, and his youngest daughter, Missy, is abducted when they are on a family vacation. And there is evidence to show that she was brutally murdered in a, an abandoned shack. Four years later, he gets a note from God, this mysterious note, inviting him back to this shack. And then it says, against his better judgment, he arrives at the shack on a wintry afternoon and walks back into his darkest nightmare. What he finds there will change Mac's world forever. The next one I bought because my friend Jacqueline recommended it to me, and it is White Oleander by Janet Fitch. And this is about a girl called Astrid, and her mom murdered a former lover, so she is in jail. And Astrid ends up becoming a orphan, an orphan in Los Angeles. The Light Between Oceans by M. M. L. Stedman. And this is about a man called Tom and he was on the Western Front for four years and then he returns to Australia and he takes up a job as a lighthouse keeper. Uh, then one day a boat washes up on shore with a dead man and a living baby. So Tom and his wife Isabel end up taking the baby in and that's all I know about this one. The next one I bought because I remember us always having it at our house. It is Rover Saves Christmas by Roddy Doyle. Basically this is about uh, it's Christmas and Rudolph decides to call in sick on his one day of work, so Rover here is his replacement for the day. It says he has the smarts, the talents, the good looks, and the charms to be his replacement, and he is about to take Santa on the ride of his life. The next one that I found at the used store was The Road by Cormac McCarthy, and this is a post-apocalyptic novel about a son and his, or a man and his son traveling through burned America. Another used one that I found, uh, it's a book about the Zodiac, 
by Robert Graysmith, and it says, The shocking true story of the nation's most bizarre mass murder. And I've been wanting to get into some like true crime novels because I'm really interested in that kind of thing. Then me and Allison went to another used bookstore. It's one that just opened up in the city and it's called Page Turners. So I got The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I'm sure most of you know what this is about. Um, basically set in a world where women's rights have been taken away. This was on one of the top scariest books list because of the whole women's rights thing being taken away. It's kind of... A scary thought so I think this will be a really fascinating read. Jasper Ford's The Air Affair. This is about a character called Thursday Next and it is set in Great Britain in 1985 and Thursday Next is a literary detective without equal fear or boyfriend. Thursday is on the trail of villainous Archeron Hades who has been kidnapping characters from works of fiction and holding them for ransom. So when Jane Eyre goes missing from the famous Bronte novel, Thursday is on the hunt for her. Thursday must find a way into the book and repair the damage. So this sounds really cute. This is The Romanov Prophecy by Steve Barry, and I'm just going to read the back of this one really quickly because I'll probably butcher it if I try to do it myself. Uh, after the fall of communism and a succession of weak governments, the Russian people have voted to bring back the Tsar who will be chosen from among the distant relatives of Nicholas II. Asked to perform a background check on one of the candidates, Atlanta lawyer Miles Lord is honored to be a part of such a momentous event. But once in Moscow, he is nearly killed by gunmen on a city plaza. Suddenly, Miles is racing across continents, his only guide a cryptic utterance of Rasputin's implying that the infamous 1918 massacre of the Romanov family was not the last chapter in their story. The prophecy's implication are earth-shattering not only for the future of the Tsar and Mother Russia, but also for Miles himself. So that sounds really interesting. I'm pretty sure you all know that I have an obsession with Russia, so I cannot, cannot, cannot wait to get to that one. Our Tragic Universe by Scarlett Thomas and The End of Mr. Y by Scarlett Thomas. Now this one is about a cursed book that no one alive has read and our main character Ariel uncovers a book in a used bookstore and that's all I know about that one. And then this one I don't know much about at all except that I love that little wolf on the cover. Um, it's about a girl called Meg and she is a writer and basically it just says that um, it's about how relationships are created and destroyed, how our futures can be rewritten and something, how stories can change lives. So I couldn't pass it up for five dollars. The next one that I have is also a Russian novel and it is The Master and the Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov and this was uh, written in 1940 and it wasn't published until 1966 but basically it's about Soviet life in the 1930s under Stalin's regime and I think it's set between ancient Jerusalem and contemporary Moscow and one of the main characters is Satan so I think this sounds really awesome and I cannot wait to get to this one. The one that I have is a Kurt Vonnegut novel and it's my first Kurt Vonnegut novel. I've never read anything by him and it is Slaughterhouse-Five. Slaughterhouse-Five, an American classic, is one of the world's great anti-war books. Centering on the infamous firebombing of Dresden, Billy Pilgrim's Odyssey through time reflects the mythic journey of our own fractured lives as we search for meaning in what we fear most. The next one that I picked up is Wildwood by Colin Malloy, who is the singer from The Decemberist, which I used to listen to a lot. And basically this is about a little girl called Prue, and her brother goes missing. He was um, abducted by a murder of crows, and they take him to the edge of Portland uh, to this forest, and no one's ever gone in or returned to tell of it. So this is about an adventure. Uh, Prue and her friend Curtis go looking for her little brother in the Wildwood, and I think it's full of like mystical creatures, and uh, it says powerful figures with the darkest intentions. So the next one that I picked up is actually a sequel, but I couldn't find the first one to all, in all of the chapters that I'd gone to. Uh, but this one is Darkest Light by Hiromi Goto, and the first one is called Half World, and basically it's said to be a mixture of Coraline by Neil Gaiman and Howl's Moving Castle. And uh, our 
main character is Melanie and her mom goes missing into the half world and basically she has to go in after her and find her but it says that neither one of them can return alive. The last one that I bought uh, is the one that I'm currently reading. I am on page 130 of like 296 or something like that and it is Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami and this is my first Haruki Murakami novel and as you can see I am loving it posting little things in here quotes that I like it's been really good so far and this is oh, I'll show you the bookmark that I bought too it's got a cool little map on it this is a story of a, a boy named Toru who is in a college in Tokyo and his girl not girlfriend, but girlfriend, Naoko, and their relationship is marked between the death of a mutual best friend. So basically this novel is about them trying to adapt to life after the death of their friend. Um, Toru is finding it a little bit easier, he's kind of uh, finding college life a little bit uh, easier, whereas Naoko is struggling with the pressures and responsibilities. So uh, that's all I know of it so far, I, like I said I'm only about halfway through. So I can't wait to finish this one, and I cannot wait to read more of Haruki Murakami's work. And then the last three, uh, the two of them I found at my house, I think they were Allison's and she just didn't want them. And then the last one Marissa bought for me. So the first one I found was Stormbreaker by Anthony Horowitz. Allison gave me one of the other ones, I can't even remember the name of it now, I know it had a blue cover. Um, I don't even know what number it was, or what number this one is but it's a young adult spy novel and that's all I know of that and then I also found this 501 must read books and I was flipping through here and I've actually read quite a few of them but like probably about 75 to 80 percent of these I haven't even heard of so hopefully this will give me some good suggestions of what I should read and then the last book is the one that Marissa bought me, and I'm so, so, so excited for this one. And you're probably all going to think I'm crazy, but that's alright. It is Ratatouille. It's a read-along, a read-aloud storybook. And this is my absolute favorite Disney Pixar movie. I watch Ratatouille all the time, and I absolutely love it. Remy is my favorite little rat ever. Let's see if I can find a cute... Here's Remy. Oh. He's so cute. And there's Remy and Emile. And there's Gusto's. I love this so much. I'm going to read it all the time. <laughs> and thank you so much, Marissa, for buying me this. I love you. And that is everything that I have for you guys today. I don't know how many books it was, but quite a few. And I'm sorry if you feel like I was rushing through this, but I didn't want to make another 30 minute long video. So if you guys have any more questions about these books, ask me in the comments and I can let you know that way instead. And if you guys have read any of these books or if you want to, if you have any thoughts on them, just let me know in the comments. Like I'd love to hear things from you guys. If you have any more suggestions or anything similar to these kind of books that you think I would like, let me know that as well. Uh, I hope you guys are participating in our readathon that we are doing. It starts next week on the 22nd. That's crazy. It's already almost here. So I really hope you guys participate. That was really loud. I don't know what it was. Somebody's yelling out there really loud. Okay, I hope you guys have a great month of are having a great month of reading. I am kind of uh, but I will tell you all about that in my wrap-up, of course. Uh, have a good day, guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye!